Hello everyone! Later today I have my third Patreon-only Discord video meetup in which we will discuss our current everyday carry and pocket dumps. So I thought I'd make a little video about my personal EDC that I carry in my pockets at the moment. And furthermore, I just wanted to share a little news update for this channel. So before we go into my everyday carry and everything that I carry inside my pockets at the moment, I just wanted to show you a new little update for this channel. This is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, so that's a very long name. And for those of you who don't know, Blackmagic is a company that makes professional grade cameras, software, so everything in terms of gear for filmmaking. And yeah, they actually contacted me a week ago and said like, hey, we don't do any trade shows at the moment due to COVID-19 and we wanted to stay in contact with creators. Would you like to check out our Blackmagic cinema camera for a couple of weeks? And in my mind I was like, um, I'm just a backpack channel, but hell yeah, I want to check out that camera. Turns out the guy that contacted me is a backpack enthusiast. So he watches a couple of my videos and said like, hey, wanna check it out? And for me it's like, yeah, I definitely want to. At the moment, I'm filming on the Sony A6300, which is a mirrorless stills camera that can shoot video. And as the name suggests, this is a cinema camera. You usually use this for advertising, feature films, music videos, etc. This is a proper cinema video camera and it is obviously not pocketable as the name suggests it's way bigger than my camera that i'm currently filming on but compared to a red camera or a Ari alexa this is actually pretty small so i'm really looking forward to test out this camera and i will switch to this camera right now okay now we are on the black magic pocket cinema camera 4k so the name is pretty long. I will just call it the Blackmagic Cinema Camera now. And here, as you can see for comparison, is the very small Sony A6300 mirrorless camera that I have been using in the past. The difference is actually that this has a A264 compressed recording, while this cinema camera shoots in a very, let's say, uncompressed. It has a compression which is called ProRes. You can shoot RAW as well to give even further um, image quality, but I will shoot in ProRes and that should yield in more clarity, better image and stuff like that. But yeah, I, I will just start testing this camera for now and let's see how the videos will change. I assume that probably not many people will notice a difference because I will grade them pretty similarly. But in terms of workflow, it should be better. And yeah, maybe you can see the difference in the image quality. Let me know in the comment section below. But now let's go into the topic of this video, which is my EDC. And yeah, let's go over all of the items. My phone, probably the one item that everyone carries. I'm currently using the OnePlus 7 Pro with a carbon fiber case attached. There is a quad lock universal mount with the quad lock. Yeah, how do you call this? Like little ring where you can attach the phone to your fingers so it doesn't slip out of your hands but also you can use this as a stand if you want to watch YouTube videos or any other videos while you're on your commute for instance. Next item is my wallet. I'm currently using the extra wallet because I want to see how the leather ages. Many of you know that my favorite wallet is the secret wallet but I was really impressed by the leather of this wallet and I wanted to see how this will look after a couple of months of use. Everything about the extra wallet is pretty great. The only thing that I didn't like was this money band. But considering during COVID-19 no one is using cash anyways, I think, yeah, I haven't used 
the money band at all so it didn't matter to me and yeah the mechanism is great it's actually it does feel a little bit better than the secret wallet but overall it's a little bit taller and next in my pocket is the orbit key organizer for those of you who watched my channel in the past i have been using the jibon key organizer which is made out of leather and has this d-ring at the top that is connected via a small hole in the leather and i think the leather over time stretched out a little bit and the d-ring detached from the main key organizer which was actually pretty scary that is why i went back to the orbit key as far as i know jibon has reinforced this leather or this hole in the leather to make it more secure but I'm yeah I switched back to the orbit key and because I lost the, the jibon key in my car once I started using these orbit key chipolo bluetooth key trackers on all the keys in this household and yeah so far I like them pretty much you can track all of your keys via the app and yes yeah, it's a great tool and on the orbit key d-ring I attached this night Izy. I'm not sure how you call this company S Biner, a lockable S Biner. I prefer these over regular carabiners because I know that on the one side the key is very secure and doesn't get lost from the carabiner itself, and the top part just attaches to my belt loop, and then you can actually lock this opening mechanism so that is my tool that i use for all my keys then we have the fisher space pen this is a great little pen that you can easily fit inside your pockets when you're paying uh, with your atm card or your credit card usually you have to use your pin here in germany but sometimes you have to sign the bill and i don't want to touch a pen that has been touched by hundreds of people during COVID-19 so I prefer to use my own Fisher Space Pen. This is made out of metal and therefore it is very durable however when you have longer writing sessions I find the aluminium to be a little bit uncomfortable in my hands so just for signing stuff this is great but for longer periods I wouldn't use this but in your pockets it's a great tool. Next I have a big lighter. I don't smoke but my wife smokes and yeah sometimes she forgets her lighter so I have a small little lighter in my pocket. Then the next tool is probably the tool that is in everyone's EDC when they are carrying an EDC that is a knife or a multi-tool. I prefer to have a Swiss Army multi-tool for the reason being that I use all of the tools or most of them at least. So you have a big blade that I use for yeah, everything, all the bigger items. If I have to cut boxes to small pieces to put them into the trash. However, I also use the small blade quite often. If you're opening boxes with those sticky tapes, the glue residue always sticks to the blade and makes it dull and yeah, it looks a little bit nasty. So I use only the small blade to open packages, but not the bigger blade to keep the bigger blade yeah, clean and sharp. Then I use the scissors quite often. I use the bottle opener every single time. It's a great tool and I can highly recommend it, especially considering the very affordable price tag. Unfortunately, I dropped this recently and the scales got a little bit chipped. This is Woody, by the way. You can check him out on Instagram. I don't know if you can see him. <laughs> And yeah, I use this multi-tool quite often. I can highly recommend it. Swiss Army Knife Super Tinker. And last but not least, a, necess a ne necessity during COVID-19, a face mask, unfortunately. This is a regular or not a special brand. Friends of mine made these. It's just some fabric. <laughs> and uh, elastic bands. I have a couple of uh, face masks that I switch around, but this is the one that I'm currently using. And yeah, that's basically my current EDC and pocket dump. Oh, before we stop this video, I totally forgot after I recorded all of this, I totally forgot to mention this. This is 
actually also in my current EDC or rather I switched a little bit. So in the beginning I used these advanced sound Bluetooth earpods which are called ADV Model XP. So these are yeah, kind of like AirPods. I, I am an Android user, so I can't use AirPods without losing some of their features. So these are the advanced Bluetooth earpods. And I used them in the beginning. These are very small, very compact and fit easily inside your pants pocket. However, if you also watch a couple of my other videos in regards to Bluetooth headphones, if the Bluetooth transmitter is very close to my ears, I somehow get dizzy or I get some, it kind of feels like motion sickness. I don't feel well when I use Bluetooth headphones that close to my inner ear. And I tested this with multiple Bluetooth earplugs, headphones, and usually if they are very close to my ear, it, yeah, I get motion sickness for some reason. So. I really was hoping to use this more than I, than I have and do a proper review on them because these sound incredible. The connection works very well. They don't drop any connection even if the phone is very far away from you and they fit great in my pockets and uh, battery life is incredible as well. But as mentioned, I get motion sickness from almost every Bluetooth headset that is so close to my ear. So usually I have either bigger headphones that have the Bluetooth connection somewhere at least not that close to my ear. Or now I switch to these. These are the Brain Brainwaves Blue 300, I believe, or 200, 300 or 200. And these basically go around your neck and then you have the earplugs in your ears. And the Bluetooth transmitter is over here so it rests on my on my shoulders and on my neck and I noticed that even with multiple hours of use I don't get this similar motion sickness or this uncomfortable feeling of a little bit headache or something. Do you have that as well when you use Bluetooth earbuds? Let me know in the comment section below. That's why I'm use, currently using these Brainwaves Blue 300 on my everyday carry. And yeah, I'm most of the time at home or walking the dog. So having some earplugs or earphones with me when I'm outside listening to podcasts or to an audible uh, audiobook is really important to me. So yeah, headphones definitely in my EDC. Not in my pocket, but in my EDC. So back to the video. Considering the lockdown and COVID-19, usually I don't need to have all of this stuff in my pocket. So I would like to know from you, how did COVID-19 and the lockdown change your pocket dump, your EDC, when you're staying at home. Do you even care to have stuff in your pockets? Yeah, let me know in the comment section below. And also let me know how do you like the difference of image quality between the Sony A6300 and the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. I will obviously test this more out and you will see the image quality of this camera in the future. And yeah, let me know in the comment section below how you like it. And furthermore, if you have any more questions, also comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Thank you very much. <music>